Welcome to LG Chem's introduction on OLED light. My name is Sebastian and I will be taking you through today's presentation. There are already many introductions on the basic characteristics and benefits of OLEDs. If you are new to OLEDs, please check out Ron's presentation which you can also find on OLEDinfo.com. Here I will be showing you some of the actual cases into which we were able to integrate our OLED light panels. For those who we have met in person, or those who have attended our conferences and webinars, may have seen most of these cases already, uh, but we have a few new additions to this presentation. And at the end of the presentation, I will also show you our latest newly released flexible OLED panels. This first case is a restaurant in Soho, London. The tables and bar is illuminated by OLED pendants, which were designed by Amanda Levitt and her team of architects. Because of the simplicity of the OLED structure, they did not require much expertise on the electric aspect of creating a lighting fixture, and they simply used 3D printing to create their prototypes, which may well be used as the final product, given that the material produces the desired finishing. If you are already familiar with OLED characteristics, you can understand how the OLEDs provides designers the freedom to create new designs. With OLEDs, ALA was able to additionally provide the restaurant's customers with a more comfortable light for dining, as well as a better presentation of the food. That could be a pretty important bonus for the restaurant. For some of these projects, we also made videos and have them on our YouTube channel. You can punch in the search keywords at the bottom right of the page and you should be able to check out the video for yourself. Here's a cafe called Marley Coffee which is rapidly expanding across Korea. As a standard design for all of Marley Coffee shops, OLEDs are used to provide ambient light while certain points on the tabletops are accentuated by conventional downlights. This is a good case that shows the unique visual ambience that the combination of OLEDs and conventional lighting can bring about. With OLEDs, the designer was able to provide sufficient ambient light while creating a decorative identity for the shop. The panels in the flagship store was programmed to imitate the fluttering of butterfly wings when the sensor, sensor is triggered, throwing in an additional fun factor to the cafe. Likewise, you can check out the video on YouTube by searching with the key keywords given in this page. This is an OLED installation which takes the dimming functions of, well, the dimming functions and programmability of OLEDs to the next level. This was an installation designed, programmed, and installed by Contrast Studio for Fuse Lounge in Hanoi. The actual effects of the movement of the light cannot be shown properly with these still pictures. So I urge you to at least check out the video for this application. The video is sufficiently self-explanatory regarding this particular capability of OLEDs. This one is an installation at Selfridges Department Store in Birmingham. If you are keen on architecture, you might already be familiar with the design of the building. By using our circular panels, Abe Rogers Design was able to bring the theme of the exterior of the building into the interior in an illuminating form. This installation welcomes the customers at the main entrance connected by a type of a bridge or, or an overpass from the parking lot. This entrance is also where customers get off from the main elevator. The lights then guide you through both corridors surrounding the elevator and bring you to the main installation. This is a good example of how the design also provides a functional purpose of grabbing the attention of the customers and bringing it to the main items of the moment displayed underneath the lighting. Here is a shelf lighting application for a retail environment. 
This is a cosmetics multi-brand shop called Bellport. This case has several attributes that depicts many of the OLED's characteristics. For starters, the thin form factor of the OLED panels allowed the designers to create a very thin, slick-looking display shelf. But of course, more important is the displayed products themselves. LG Chem's OLED have a color rendering index over 90, making them perfect for retail purposes. The low heat factor is also important for products sensitive to heat. Finally, and I've actually experienced this personally, but you can feel the difference on how little discomfort there is in front of an OLED shelf when compared to being in front of an LED shelf. Uh, the lesser the discomfort, the better the chances that customers will shop for a longer time. When you search for this video, YouTube automatically searches for Bellport with two L's. Click on search for Bellport with one L and you will get the desired result. Many people have found this case quite interesting. One of the most difficult architectural structures for installing lightings happens to be heritage buildings. The architects for this project found a very simple solution by using OLEDs. Simply put, they directly attached the panels onto the wall by using double-sided tape. It was that simple, so there really isn't much to explain here except to notice the simplicity of the OLEDs. One thing I would like to mention is that when the installation was finished, the first thing the project owner exclaimed that uh, exclaimed was that it feels like natural light. Actually, we didn't have a chance to explain this, these characteristics of OLEDs to him. Uh, sometime earlier this year, IVAIU uh, City, that's actually what they call themselves, um, the architectural company which designed this project came back to us to install OLEDs once again, this time as a downlight for a heritage office building. You can see the YouTube for both cases using the keywords on the bottom of this page. The library is one of the places where we need to concentrate for extended periods of time under artificial light. Seoul National University, which is the top university in Korea, recently built a new library. In the process, the university selected OLED desk lamps to be installed for each seat. Their decision was based on the quality of the light and also the panels representing a visual representation of the building's design. In addition to boosting the school's image of employing state-of-the-art technology, a recent survey has shown that 91% of the students favored the OLED light over conventional light and 94% felt the OLEDs actually helped them concentrate more when studying. Okay, so the quality of OLED light is quite noticeable. The biggest misconception that people have about OLEDs is that they are not bright enough. This is a photo of where I work. The whole office is illuminated only with OLEDs, um, and it's designed to provide the required lux for an office environment. And I can tell you that we get more than enough light, minus the discomfort that comes from most conventional lightings. Granted, OLEDs may still be a bit pricey for the time being, but this is a good example that shows OLEDs can indeed be used as general lighting. It is just a matter of bringing the cost down. Uh, related announcements hopefully will be coming sometime in 2016. These are earlier cases for several meeting rooms in which OLEDs were installed. The one for the LG Chem headquarters and the one for the U.S. Embassy in Finland is a design called the Trillia, produced by Acuity Brands. The LG House's showroom lighting was done by LG Electronics. Since meeting rooms require even less of a light output than the office area, it was much easier for us to meet the requirements. At the same time, all of our meeting participants benefit from the comfortable light in meetings that tend to go on for too long sometimes. Let's move on to some actual lighting products that are on the market. 
This one may not be an end product, but it's something that any creative mind can easily use to make one's own liking, or to just simply experience OLEDs firsthand. If any of your local distributors deal with LG Chem OLED products, they should have one of these on hand. Please also check our video for some examples of people creating lightings with our die kits. LG Chem is primarily focused on providing top quality OLED light panels. Although we are a light source provider, as OLEDs are a new technology, we are also trying to bring OLED light closer to the end user and give them the chance to experience the quality of OLED light. To make this possible, we have made these lamps available all across Korea. If you remember the Seoul National University Library case, which I shared with you earlier, you'll notice that the Sky Desk Lamp is modeled after that design. We have plans to expand the availability of these desk lamps to other regions as well, some of which are already in progress. During these projects, another point we noticed was that there are many people who would like to use OLEDs but lack the means to apply the panels directly to the structure, unless it was literally directly like one of the heritage cases. So we have also developed a module that can be applied to off-the-shelf track mounting systems. There are several options for hinges, among which the rotating type, will be subject to mass production first, and the rest will follow suit. And this design, which we call the OLED Classic, will be one of our newest releases, also made attachable to a track mount system. The design is reminiscent of the incandescent light bulb that I'm sure we all miss, but without the glare, without the heat, without the hazardous materials, and at a much higher efficiency. In addition, the tilt and swivel option provides a directional functionality on top of the de decorative function. Expect this model to hit the market very soon. Finally, here are some updates on our panel portfolio. Changes made from our previous lineup, which is in this page, uh, include a longer rectangular panel, which comes in 400 by 50 millimeters. Also, our circular panel now comes with a circular external perimeter instead of the octo oct octagonal one we had before. The illuminating area is the same as the previous model. And here is the latest development on our flexible panels. In addition to the previous 200 by 50 millimeter format, we have also released a longer rendition in 406 by 50 millimeters. Here are the basic specifications. If you are interested, do check them out. The 3000 Kelvin and 4000 Kelvin flexible panels are available as we speak, uh, as long as we have them in stock. And the 2700K panels will be following soon. I hope there are brilliant creative minds out there that will use these new products and create unprecedented designs changing the way we see light. So thank you very much for checking out this introduction. I hope it has provided you with both information and inspiration. And I hope to be talking to some of you in person somewhere down the line. This is Sebastian signing off. Thank you.